In Stoic philosophy, we accentuate the power of internal control. Stoicism posits that the only things within our control are our attitudes and behaviors, while external matters lie beyond our sphere of influence. This implies that we should focus on what we can control, rather than being swayed by uncontrollable external factors. This inner strength stems from our cognition and self-mastery. Hence, when confronted with challenges, we ought to face them with calmness and equilibrium, accepting those things we cannot change. Stoic philosophy aims to aid us in overcoming destructive emotions such as anger, fear, jealousy, or desire which disrupt our inner tranquility and impede rational action. Stoics argue that these emotions arise from erroneous or irrational cognitions of external events. Therefore, through scrutinizing and correcting our beliefs, we can rid ourselves of the torment of these emotions and attain inner peace and balance. In Stoic philosophy, the dynamics between men and women also hold significance. Stoics advocate for treating everyone with kindness, fairness, and respect, irrespective of their gender, status, or background. However, Stoics also caution against the temptations and dangers posed by sexual desire and attachment. Thus, in interactions with women, men should exercise prudence and self-discipline to avoid being swayed by these emotions. 1. His Weaknesses Stoic philosophy underscores the individual's inner strength and self-mastery. When confronted with one's own weaknesses and challenges, a true Stoic man would face them with calmness and resilience, rather than indulging in self-pity or complaint. He views inner strength as genuine resilience, not reliant on external sympathy or pity. Therefore, he maintains self-control, refraining from displaying his weaknesses to others, and relies on his own strength to overcome difficulties. In Stoic philosophy, we recognize the power of enduring pain in silence, not as an act of pretense, but as a means to cultivate resilience and tranquility. This silence is not the suppression of emotions, but a conscious choice to confront difficulties with inner strength. Stoicism emphasizes that we can choose how to respond to external challenges, rather than being passively influenced by them. A Stoic man does not allow personal weaknesses to erode his confidence or self-esteem, instead, he sees them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. 2. His Errors In Stoic philosophy, errors are seen as crucial stepping stones on the path to wisdom and self-improvement. Stoicism teaches us that every mistake is a valuable learning experience and an opportunity for self-perfection. Therefore, a Stoic man approaches his mistakes with humility and diligence and does not easily disclose them to others, because he understands that errors are part of personal growth and should not be ridiculed or condemned. In Stoicism, mistakes are not failures but rather a process of learning and an opportunity for growth. In Stoic philosophy, a Stoic man corrects his mistakes with discipline and perseverance. He understands that improvement is an ongoing process that requires steadfast effort. Stoicism teaches us not to let mistakes define us, but to see them as catalysts for promoting positive change and self-improvement. Taking responsibility is one of the fundamental principles of Stoic philosophy. A Stoic man does not engage in the blame game but focuses on how to correct mistakes, prevent similar errors in the future, and take responsibility for his actions. 3. His Dreams From the Stoic philosophical perspective, dreams and aspirations are not mere fantasies or unrealistic illusions but meaningful pursuits aligned with one's values and capabilities. A Stoic man approaches his dreams with caution, not out of a need for secrecy but to avoid the pitfalls of vanity and the pursuit of external validation. He focuses on what he can control and influence, rather than being swayed by external praise or criticism. Guided by inner principles, the Stoic man seeks personal growth and the realization of his authentic self, rather than seeking validation from others. The Stoic man upholds the principle of taking responsibility not for the sake of superficial praise, but to maintain his inner resilience and stability. 
he knows that external changes do not affect his inner steadfastness because his inner strength stems from his accountability for his actions and his objective view of things. The stoic man does not indulge in external praise or criticism, instead, he guides his behavior with discipline and self-control, maintaining inner calm and stability. In Stoic philosophy, a Stoic man's self-discipline is closely related to inner contentment. He does not invest his energy in things beyond his control or unrelated to personal happiness, but focuses on inner strength and values. The Stoic man's dreams are also built on self-reliance and autonomy, he trusts his judgment and inner voice, pursuing goals aligned with his inner values and capabilities, rather than relying on external validation or approval. 4. His Emotional Handling In Stoic philosophy, emotional management and rational decision-making are paramount. A Stoic man is not governed by emotions but manages them with reason and mindfulness. He deeply understands the impact of emotions on judgment and action, ensuring not to be swayed by fleeting emotions by maintaining balance. Simultaneously, he also recognizes the need for careful selection in expressing emotions, not out of emotional detachment but to communicate more effectively with others, aiming for deeper inner satisfaction. In Stoic philosophy, a Stoic man's emotional handling is based on rational and calm choices rather than the suppression of emotions. He does not seek emotional detachment but rather emotional control. By choosing when and where to express his emotions, he aims to convey a rational and composed attitude, rather than appearing irrational or overly emotional to others. In Stoic philosophy, emotions are not discarded but seen as tools that can be refined for self-awareness and wisdom. Therefore, the Stoic man's approach to emotions reflects a harmonious unity of reason and emotion, maintaining a dynamic equilibrium of balance, resilience, and thoughtful contemplation in life. 5. His Secrets Stoic philosophy closely associates the handling of personal secrets with caution, honor, and respect for oneself and others. A Stoic man recognizes the value of secrets and the importance of maintaining personal dignity and privacy. His choice to keep secrets is not driven by fear of exposure but rather stems from respect for his own and others' privacy. In his mindset, keeping secrets is not about shame or hiding nefarious content but rather represents a part of personal dignity and privacy. Therefore, he chooses to remain silent and respects both his and others' boundaries demonstrating his reverence for personal dignity and respect for sharing. Stoic philosophy teaches us that protecting personal secrets is not only an act of respecting individual dignity and privacy, but also a measure of inner resilience. A Stoic man does not divulge or exploit secrets but sees them as precious assets, understanding that it is a form of respect for human dignity and inner life. His actions are not aimed at concealing the truth or evading responsibility, but rather at safeguarding the sanctity of personal experiences and inner life, reflecting Stoic philosophy's emphasis on individual inner dignity. In Stoic philosophy, self-trust is the cornerstone of secret handling. A Stoic man trusts himself, relying on internal judgment and discretion to decide on sharing or preserving secrets. This self-trust is not isolated confidence or distrust of others but a manifestation of confidence in managing one's inner world. His actions are based on self-trust in the inner self, reflecting Stoic philosophy's emphasis on self-management and inner strength. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the sanctity of the human soul, believing it contains intangible treasures such as thoughts, emotions, experiences, and secrets. Protecting and respecting secrets is not only about respecting personal privacy, but also about reverence and protection for the sanctity of the human soul. By safeguarding his own secrets and respecting the secrets of others, the Stoic man demonstrates respect for his inner self and respect for the dignity of others. 6. His Pain In Stoic philosophy, enduring pain is seen as a manifestation of inner resilience and indomitable will. The Stoic man does not capitulate to suffering but chooses to confront life's challenges with fortitude and equanimity. 
Recognizing pain as an inevitable part of existence, he ups to face it with patience and resilience, embodying Stoic philosophy's emphasis on inner toughness. Stoic philosophy teaches us that the Stoic man does not seek pain but rather endures it with grace and gratitude. This choice is not rooted in a masochistic desire but rather in an understanding of enduring pain with grace as a transformative process. The Stoic man acknowledges that, like other aspects of life, pain can serve as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. By gracefully enduring pain and viewing it as a challenge and an opportunity for growth, he transforms this experience into a meaningful and transformative part of his journey through life. Within Stoic philosophy, a unique perspective on alleviating pain encourages a distinctive attitude. The Stoic man does not actively seek comfort or immediate relief from pain, but rather views it as a challenge that invites him to become stronger. By repositioning pain as a challenge and an opportunity for growth, he integrates this experience into his journey as something meaningful and transformative. 7. His Joy Stoic philosophy posits that adversity tests gold, and challenges test warriors. This analogy underscores Stoic philosophy's belief that challenges and difficulties, symbolically represented by fire, present individuals with opportunities to exhibit true character and resilience. The Stoic man confronts these tests with courage and perseverance, integrating opportunities for challenge and growth with joy. In the philosophical backdrop of Stoicism, the attitude towards happiness is marked by moderation and temperance. This perspective becomes particularly significant in the context of interactions and relationships between Stoic men and women. Stoic philosophy emphasizes virtues and self-control, with a nuanced understanding of happiness as a potential source of indulgence and addiction if not approached with caution and moderation. The Stoic man does not deem happiness itself as negative, but rather considers the relationship with happiness requiring careful consideration. He recognizes that allowing happiness to control or corrupt oneself would deviate from Stoic principles of self-discipline and rationality. Thus, he approaches happiness with a rational and moderate outlook, remaining mindful of its transient nature and potential to distract, rather than viewing it as deprivation or asceticism seeking instead a balanced and deliberate way to integrate happiness into life. Contrary to actively seeking pleasure, he endures pain with grace and gratitude. This choice is not born out of a sadistic desire for suffering but rather stems from an understanding that gracefully enduring pain is a transformative process. The Stoic man acknowledges that, like other aspects of life, pain presents opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Stoic philosophy encourages seeking relief from pain from a unique perspective. The Stoic man does not actively seek comfort or immediate escape from pain, but instead views pain as a challenge that invites him to become stronger. By reframing pain as a challenge and an opportunity for growth, he integrates this experience into meaningful and transformative aspects of his journey. The Stoic man's response to pain is not about showcasing vulnerability or seeking sympathy but rather viewing pain as a personal challenge, and an opportunity for inner transformation. By choosing not to openly display his pain, he focuses his energy on overcoming challenges with resilience while maintaining a Stoic and joyful attitude. In summary, the Stoic man's approach to pain is a harmonious blend of resilience, joy, and transformative growth. By overcoming challenges with resilience, maintaining a joyful attitude, and reframing pain as an opportunity for growth, he embodies the inner strength and tranquility ideals of Stoicism. In this manner, the Stoic man transcends adversity, responding to life's fluctuations with elegance and steadfast commitment. 8. His Love Within the context of Stoicism, the concept of love is treated with a unique perspective, emphasizing independence, self-sufficiency, and rationality. Guided by Stoic principles, the Stoic man approaches love in a manner free from excessive attachment and dependency. This viewpoint is crucial for understanding how Stoicism handles romantic relationships and emotional bonds. For the Stoic man, Love is not about losing oneself in another or becoming overly attached, but rather about loving in a rational and free manner. 
he views love as an emotion guided by wisdom and rationality. This attitude allows him to maintain independence and self-sufficiency. In Stoic philosophy, love is not about losing oneself or being bound by excessive dependency. Instead, love is a choice guided by reason and freedom. The Stoic man views love as an emotion that should be guided by wisdom and rationality, rather than an emotion that enslaves him. His attitude revolves around respect, dignity, and equality, viewing love as a form of mutual respect and care rather than a means of possession or dependency. This concept helps establish healthy balanced relationships where both individuals can freely be themselves and grow independently. Importantly, the Stoic man does not expect love to burden relationships in any way. Instead, he understands love as a cherished gift rather than a right to be demanded, fostering gratitude and mindfulness, enhancing the quality and depth of emotional connections. From the Stoic perspective, the handling of personal secrets is inseparable from the principles of caution and respect for personal privacy. The Stoic man does not view secrets as things to be kept hidden nor as means to conceal truth or evade responsibility, but rather about respecting the dignity of personal experiences and inner life. He maintains a stance of protecting personal privacy, believing it does not mean hiding truth or evading responsibility, but rather about protecting the dignity of personal experiences and inner life. His trust in self-protection is a fundamental principle of Stoic philosophy, determining what should be shared and what should remain private through his own judgment and careful decisions. This self-trust does not imply isolation or distrust of others, but rather confidence in his ability to manage his inner world, reflecting his respect for self-worth and dignity. Stoic philosophy encourages expressing true love through action rather than words. The Stoic man does not merely express love verbally but demonstrates care, understanding, and support through actions and behavior. He believes genuine love is manifested through tangible actions rather than mere words. This attitude reflects one of the core principles of Stoicism, that true virtues and character are displayed through action. He chooses to practice love through his daily interactions and treatment of his partner rather than relying solely on words. Marcus Aurelius's quote, the best revenge is not to be like your enemy, encapsulates this philosophy, indicating the importance of maintaining virtues and character in the face of challenges or negative influences. Thus, the stoic man's attitude towards love reflects a balance between emotional depth and rational understanding. Through this balanced approach, he can build meaningful and fulfilling relationships while remaining loyal to the core principles of stoicism. Stoic philosophy emphasizes self-discipline and moderation, believing that true freedom and satisfaction are achieved through controlling desires and impulses. The Stoic man embodies this idea by engaging in pleasurable experiences with moderation and self-control, maintaining a clear mind and rational judgment. He avoids excess and indulgence, cautiously pursuing pleasurable experiences rather than becoming immersed in them. This balanced attitude allows him to experience the joys of life while avoiding the pitfalls of excess and indulgence, thereby achieving the self-discipline and rationality advocated by Stoicism. At the conclusion of this video, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all our viewers. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you've found it inspiring or helpful in any way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Your support is what drives us forward. We look forward to meeting you again in the next video. Once again, thank you for watching.